Two U.S. Senate candidates met for their final debate in St. Paul tonight. Democrat Tina Smith and Republican Karen Housley faced off for the last time before the election well, on Tuesday. And, and our Pat Kessler was there. Coming down to the wire here, Pat. Yeah, that was the last debate of the year. The election coming up very shortly. Uh, and also, this was the Minnesota Public Radio Forum that actually showed some pretty sharp differences between these candidates. On a $15 minimum wage, Smith supports it. Housley does not. The Republican tax cut bill, Housley would have voted for it. Smith says too much went to rich people. And this was an interesting one. Equal pay for women who make 80 cents for every dollar men make. Smith supports federal pay equity laws. Housley does not. She says it hurts business. I don't think we need any more mandates on our small businesses because that's what squelches jobs. Whenever you uh, put women in their own category and not make them strong and, and tell them that we have to make laws because you aren't equal to men, that's the problem. When women have economic security, families have economic security, and our whole economy does better. Women are half of the population, and the idea that half of the population in this state or this country are not able to have the same opportunities and earn the same wages as men, is, it, it brings us all down. So that's it. The debates are over only a couple of days before the election. And this weekend, the political parties pivoted to the next important job, getting everybody out to vote. It's a nonstop campaign blitz around the state. Democrats calling the election a referendum on President Donald Trump. And in 55 hours, we get to start putting an end to what they started. Two, three. Across the state, in person, early voting is underway. Thanks for voting. And it's wildly popular. Well, frankly, it's more convenient to do it at the time of your choice. For the candidates. Who wants to keep their tax cuts? Of either party. Motivating supporters is now job one. Both parties have sophisticated get-out-the-vote operations, no matter what the political forecasters are predicting Tuesday. And they told us that they are predicting three days from now, a red tsunami is going to hit Minnesota with impressive force. Well, there does seem to be a lot of interest. More than 400,000 people have already voted early, and that is a sign of higher than normal interest in what's happening. I suppose we should not really be that surprised yeah, right. after this election season. Yeah, certainly. We've, of course, heard a lot about a lot of topics, health care, the economy, yep, yep. immigration, of course, as of late. But, All of it, yeah. But how about uh, President Trump? A lot of people are wondering, you know, what kind of impact he's going to have on the vote. What do you think? Well, he, you know, he's got a shadow over everything in this country. Uh, it's huge. He's not on the ballot, but... The president himself says it's a referendum on him. So for Republican and Democratic voters, that may be exactly what it is, like it or not. I think we're going to see uh, what effect the president has on Wednesday, and it could be a big one. And you'll be tracking it uh, after oh, yeah. the election as yeah, well. Yeah, we'll be here. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Pat. You bet. And WCCO, of course, will have you covered throughout Election Day. And if you are still undecided on who to vote for, we have an online guide of the candidates at WCCO.com slash election guide.